I'm Mary Ann. I am the manager here in the floral and tropical plant department. And my expertise area that I enjoy the most is the tropical plants and growing and caring for them. We're gonna talk about today how to care for your orchid. The most popular orchid that I brought to the table to talk about is a Phalaenopsis. That's the most popular one. After you uh, bring your orchid home, and these are Phalaenopsis, watering number one, is a lot of the questions that I receive. Some of our customers choose to put ice cubes, a couple of ice cubes. Wardell's recommends also that you take your container to your sink or wherever is easier for you to water. And what you're gonna do is thoroughly water your medium. You don't wanna get water on the leaves because if the water is on the leaves and it's left there, it could spoil the leaf or rot. The leaf itself. The other care that you want to make sure is that they get some good lighting, especially for the leaf and the flowers to get them to flower again. And I suggest an east window because it gets that morning sunlight and it's not too strong in the summer, winter, uh, whatever time of year. So you can put it in another window such as a south or a west or southwest, but you have to be very, very careful with the sunlight because the sunlight, direct sunlight on these will burn the plant. After your orchid blooms and then the flowers are finished and spent and they've all fallen off, what happens next is you could, off these main stems, get a new stem of orchid. And you can kind of see here on this one where a new stem is coming on and you still have some flowers here and there are nodes along your stem of orchid here. Here's a node. So all along down the stem, you're gonna see these little tiny little bumps and we call them nodes. That's where a new stem could grow. So what you wanna do after all the flowers are finished is take and where the first flower or if you call it the last flower, when that is finished, you're gonna cut just either right above it or down to the next, just above the next node. And that way then, hopefully, you'll get a new stem growing off of that. When the plant totally turns brown, that stem totally turns brown, that's the time you're going to cut it and cut it all the way back to the very base of where that stem has been growing. All the things that I just talked about, hopefully your orchid will be successful. And by doing all of these, you will hopefully get a new stem of flowers growing and basically sometimes we don't always get it right away but most generally they last between the flowers that can last between three and six months so hopefully this will be a successful uh, suggestion for you to grow your orchids